neoplasty of the liver with only slightly atypical hepatocytes, very normal hepatocytes. But the important of this lesion is this relation with oral contraceptive usage. Patients with this pathology can have right upper quadrant secondary to rupture, but not always with bleeding into the tumor. You can see here a adenoma in the right lobe of the liver. It is hyperechoic with a central hypoechoic area caused by hemorrhage and it may be a solitary or multiple. That not mean that all the adenomas have this pattern, but it's common to have a hyperechoic with a central hypoechoic area. Hepatic cystadenoma. This is a ray neoplast in middle aged woman, and this is not something that you are going to see a lot of times. Focal nodular hyperplasia is very important. It's benign and is the second most common benign liver mass after hemangioma. And this is for that focal nodular hyper hyperplasia that is a little different with normal liver parenchyma. In general, the lesions are isoechoic the patient is asymptomatic, but sometimes are very big and produce compression of other normal structure like vena porta. Sometimes there are more one than mass. Sometimes they have also a central scar a calcification in the center of the nodules, but in general our isoechoics are not easy to differentiate with normal parenchyma. Normal liver cells, but in a little different structure. hypoechoic to isoechoic. Malignant tumors are rare in the liver. The liver in general takes a lot of cancer of other organs. The most common is the hepatocellular carcinoma and is also a cancer related with cirrhotic liver in other words, alcoholic cirrhosis, or sometimes also chronic hepatitis. Symptoms include general nausea, vomiting, fatigue, weight loss, and hepatomegaly. Portal hypertension and splenomegaly are common also, because if there are portal hypertension, of course, there are going to be splenomegaly. Splenomegaly is a consequence of portal hypertension. Ascites is other consequence of portal hypertension. Hepatocellular carcinoma is the most common primary malignant neoplasm of the liver and is related with cirrhosis. There are different prevalence in the world, but there are more in Africa. There are more of this cancer in Africa. Some people say that the reason is the presence of aflatoxin. Aflatoxin 
are part of this fungus in different plants that can produce hepatotoxicity and that is also related with cancer of the liver. And more frequently in men, clinical the patient with hepatocellular carcinoma present with cirrhosis, palpable mass, hepatomegaly, appetite disorder, fever, jaundice, is all the thing that can be the person with a lot of signs and symptoms related with liver functions. The carcinoma can be different, can be three patterns. One is solitary, massive tumor, multiple, or other are diffuse, infiltrative mass. Sometimes are hyperechoic, sometimes are hypoechoic. It's a very different in different patterns. This carcinoma is very invasive, and that produces Bucciari syndrome, but not because mm. a clot in the hepatic veins, because Bucciari syndrome is the obstruction of the hepatic veins, and one cause can be the hepatocellular carcinoma. Isoacoid sometimes can be encapsulated and sometimes is totally diffuse inside the parenchyma. The parenchyma becomes very inhomogeneous <coughs> and sometimes this is very similar than metastasis of cancer of other organs. The last pattern is the combination of the low and infiltration. Hepatocellular carcinoma, and this is the most important, cannot be differentiated. This is the function of the biopsy. You cannot say by ultrasound, a cancer of the liver is a original cancer of the liver tissue or is a metastasis of other organs. Metastatic disease is the most common cancer in the liver. It's the most common neoplastic involvement of the liver is metastatic. The other, the primary cancer, are not more common than metastasis disease. You can see here a liver with a few nodules.